what up everybody this your boy nautical coming at you from home that's right guys finally made it back to the house three weeks in a the hospital they took really good care of me there but man it was hard being there for three weeks uh, for you guys that didn't know um, I guess I can elaborate a little bit I was um, in a car accident on February 24th had a fractured right femur and some small fractures in my hip bone and I was rushed to um, the hospital to have an surgery on my leg which they completed that day and I was in orthopedics for a week and rehab for almost two so as of last night March 15th 2016 I finally came home so I just wanted to you know make this video because I haven't made a video like I said I haven't made a video in over three weeks and I just wanted to tell certain individuals thank you for their good well wishes and coming out to see me and everything so let's get that started my my first thank you goes to my family above all in all my wife and my brother and my aunt they were the most supportive people in the world my my wife was pretty much at the hospital every day except for one or two days during the whole three weeks that I was there. Made sure I had everything I needed, took care of all the financial and it, stuff that came up and came through and basically just did everything that I knew she could do. You know, she was always there for me before and she just did it 100%, shit, 300% more in this instance. And I and I love her so much for just everything she did for me. Next, I want to say is my, my brother. You know, he stayed overnight at the hospital with me in the first week, you know, uh, when it ran out because I can't sleep without fans I don't know if you guys know that but when I go to sleep I can't sleep without a fan but um he was really um supportive about everything that was going on and he you know tried to make me feel as comfortable as I could and um yeah he he, he did everything that a little brother should do and you know the only thing is I hope never nothing ever happens for him but I, I owe him everything you know and pretty, pretty much everything. He gave me his laptop to be able to play video games and stuff on, which I didn't even take advantage of in the whole first week I was there because I was just so bummed out from the accident. But then um, really, really went ham on it over the last two weeks. As you may see on the screen right now, you see some Division gameplay on Xbox One, but that's just because I just got my copy for Division on Xbox One today. If you look on the screen right now, you'll see a screenshot or maybe just a moving video of the progress of my PC character, which is more than likely over 50 hours. Um, so that's what I was doing in the hospital majority of the time I was there putting in that work on that PC. So I want to say thanks to my brother for doing all that for me and, you know, being there and helping me out. Uh, next is my aunt. You know, she, that's my first, that's one of my favorite aunts ever. You know, my movie buddy, you know, she did a lot for me. She brought me food and stuff. She brought me her daughter's memory foam mattress off her bed so I can sleep more comfortably in the hospital beds. And anybody that tells you that hospital beds don't suck, they lying. They do. They suck royal hell. Um, but she did that for me. You know, she spent her more than her fair share at the hospital with me over the last couple of days. So I appreciate everybody in my family for the things they did and the time that they spent by coming up to the hospital to come see me. Now let's talk about my friends. First of all, my co-workers, Ariel, Sam, Jerry, I love you guys so much. You know, you know, you're the, the closest thing I have to a family at work. And the fact that all you guys in your own way showed your support of me over the ordeal that I was going through. I appreciate it a lot. You're more than just, you know, workers or insubordinates to me, your family, and I appreciate it. You know, Jerry for, Jerry for coming to the hospital and buying me crossword puzzles and making me feel like I'm 50 years old, which I actually did some of them, so I appreciate it. It did take my mind off a couple of things. Ariel came up with her boyfriend and she bought me this cool Batman balloon that everybody in the hospital kept saying, that's an awesome balloon, where'd you get that from? And I was like, one of my coworkers brought it. And she also brought me some, um, some cuties, some oranges, and <laughs> they were a lifesaver because I was just, I think they lasted about two days and we destroyed them but um and sam she didn't get a chance to come to the hospital but you know just you know the messages she sent to me and when i talked to her on the phone you know she was just as concerned about it as anybody else so i just want to say thank you to all you guys and also to ani for coming up to the hospital to come visit me and you know taking good care of my store you know his assistant manager jake is running it right now and i wish the best of luck to him he's a great guy and anything that he needs, he knows he can contact me and help me get, um, 
and I'll help him get through it. But um, my store is in good hands, so I'm not really worried about that. It's just get myself ready to go back to work, get myself right first, then get myself ready to go back to work so I can, you know, continue what I was started with my store. So thanks to that. Also want to give a um, shout out to my DM, Josh. You know, not too many people have a boss that they really, really love and really, really like. And I do have that. You know, Josh Wiegand is, he's a brand new DM in a company. And the moment I met him, I felt like I could talk to him about anything. And I always knew that he cared, but him coming up to the hospital during a very busy day that he had with work and having meetings and stuff like that and still having to go home and take care of other stuff. He still found time to come up to the hospital to come visit me and he met my family and, you know, it just lets me know that I, GameStop is the perfect place I need to be because, you know, they are doing more for me than I could ever hope to make sure that I'm taken care of and making sure that I'm set to come back to work when I can. So thank you, GameStop. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, rest of you guys. Thank you to my best friend, Shaner, for calling me and texting me and making sure I was okay. He came up and visited me with his girlfriend or his fiance now, and I really appreciate that too. So, you know, thanks guys. I really appreciate all that. Now let's, um, let's talk about some other things like physical therapy. Now, I was over in orthopedics for about a week. Anybody tells you that physical therapy or rehab isn't hard, oh my God, they are full of BS. Physical therapy, taking everything you learned in 36 years and trying to cram it into anywhere from four to four months to a year to get yourself right again. It's very intense, it's very excruciating, and it's a lot of hard work. You ache and you burn and you're tired after it. And the one thing I will say is I appreciate everybody at Henry Ford McComb that put the time into me and believed that I can do it to make myself a better person, a better individual, and just believe in myself that this is something I can do. I am a thousand percent better than I was three weeks ago today. And it's because of those people up there in conjunction with my family. So I just wanted to give a shout out to that hospital and let them know that they're always in my prayers and I appreciate that. And I will be up there to visit them when I can walk, you know, and just let them know how I'm doing. Outside of that, guys, I just wanted to give you an update. It's the first time I made a video in a while. And just let you know how I was doing. I'm doing great now. I'm home. A little tired because, you know, I'm getting up at 6.30 in the morning now to every day because of the schedule they got me on at the hospital. So hopefully I um, get myself back to normal and be here all the time. I will be, um, you know, participating in activities and stuff online with you know, people like my FOF family who definitely I want to give a shout out to because they they showed up in force when it came to just messages. Most of those people don't live here. So the fact that they were texting me and sending me uh, messages on our communications website Slack and let me know how, you know, they felt and how, you know, hope I was doing well. <laughs> I loved it. Thank you. You guys made that a very easy transition for me and I hope long term that you know I can just repay the favor to you guys in some form or fashion but I'm doing great I'm home now I can get back on that destiny I just started on the vision that you can see in the gameplay and I hope to um, catch up with all you guys over the next couple of days and weeks and that's really all I have to say about it so right now I'm just gonna leave you with this try everything make sure you don't give up if it feels like you're being beat down and it feels like there's no end in sight push yourself to do something different but try because if you don't try you'll never succeed and that's the biggest thing that i learned during this whole idea don't let it get the best of you because you're in control just make sure you don't give up all right guys this is nautical thanks for listening to this video sub to the channel if you haven't make sure you leave a like if you did and i will talk to you guys later peace